Hey guys, welcome to my video. I hope you're all doing well. It's time for another haul and I can't wait to show you all the new coloring books I've gotten. So I'm going to start right away. First one is, I'm sure you've seen this one a lot. It's Night Garden from RJ Hampson. I had um, three coloring books of his on my Amazon wish list, and I decided to get this one because it appealed to me the most. Um, the other two about are about pirates and houses, and I plan to get them eventually as well. But this one has really beautiful, intricate designs, all nature and animal themed. Really, really cute, really detailed, very nice. I'm sure you've seen this one a lot. It's quite popular. I've seen this in a bunch of videos, and it's a great book. So next up, I have actually gotten these three that are about autumn, because I love autumn. I think it's my favorite season. Spring and autumn are my favorite seasons. And they have these beautiful country-like, autumn-themed, whimsical, sometimes quite detailed images of autumnal coloring pages. And it's all very pretty. I can't wait to start in these because I love autumn. And I don't really uh, feel like I have to color in autumn themed uh, coloring books only in autumn. So I'm going to start these eventually. Autumn Life. Then the next one is Country Autumn. These involve some country animals. Very cute. Also sometimes very detailed, but oh, this is very nice. Yeah, love these ones. And the last one is Autumn Scenes. They're all by Coloring Book Cafe, if you want to look them up. I'm sure you can find complete flip-throughs of these. Very cute images. Autumn scenes. Then next up is the third one of The Chinese Girls by Arabian Rose. I have recently uh, uploaded a flip through uh, of all three books, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. But like the other two volumes, it's full of these beautiful, detailed, Chinese-themed girls and men, actually. There are also a few guys in there, so I like that they uh, didn't focus solely on girls. So this one. Then I got 50 diminutive, <laughs> diminutive countryside scenes, English on point today. It's Sunday morning here in Germany, please bear with me. And I really like Camelia Angel Kova's um, scenes. And I, I think she, the way she draws creatures is very cute, but there is just something about the way she draws these landscape images that makes me really like them. Also, I recently colored in her 50 ocean miniatures, and I also picked scenes that involve just landscapes because they're just very cute. Yeah, this is also quite popular. I've seen this in a lot of videos. And it deserves that. And then, for completionist reasons, I actually got a whole bunch of Camellia Angel Kova's mandala books. This one, and 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 that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, wait, <clears throat> like that. So, all right. So, let's start here. 50 wintertime mandalas. Oh, so pretty. I love these types of mandalas that, that are not just, you know, a mandala. They're also a scene, which is really cute. Very pretty. Also, as always, single-sided, so perfect for alcohol markers. 50 wintertime mandalas, then 50 summertime mandalas. Also very sweet images, very pretty. I might do a flip throw video of all my Camellia Angel Cova books, but that's going to be a long one. 
because I have a lot of her books by now. And then 50 Springtime Mandalas. I'm pretty sure I also have the Autumn one, right? If I don't have the Autumn one, then it probably wasn't available at the time I ordered them. But these are also very cute. Lovely. I think I need to buy a whole lot of more supplies. <laughs> I mean, I already have like, uh, I think, four sets, four new sets of alcohol markers <laughs> from different brands that I got just to try. Wait, where's the autumn one? Oh, I actually didn't get the autumn one. 50 hearts to color. If you want a bit of a different style of mandalas, these are all hearts. Very pretty. Oh, this is going to be such a long video. <laughs> 50 hearts to color. Then 50 stylish mandalas. At first I was like, oh, you know, mandalas. Yeah, I know they're popular. They're not so much my thing. And then I got like one mandala book to try it out. Then I thought, hey, coloring mandalas is actually really fun. Uh, I need to get more mandala books. And then I kind of went crazy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to blame Camellia and Jokova for that because she released so many beautiful mandala books. 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas. This one is really beautiful. Really intricate and whimsical designs here. Beautiful. 50 lotus flower mandalas, 50 night, oops, that, that was the pile, uh, 50 nighttime mandalas, which come with a black background. This is going to make, oh, this is very pretty. This is going to make the colors really pop. Also, uh, a, a bit more detailed design, some of them here. Wow, this is also very pretty. Very nice. 50 nighttime mandalas. And then flower mandalas. No, we don't have enough mandalas yet. There's still more. And I'm not really sure why, but these aren't centered on the page. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's just like, okay, well, they're, they're leaning more like to the top of the page. So maybe I'm going to pull it down here. So these are really relaxing if you need to wind down from like a stressful day at work or something. Definitely going to grab one of these. Celtic inspired mandalas. This is also very, very beautiful. With like a lot of these intricate Celtic knot designs. Some of them have creatures in them. Beautiful. And mandalas for relaxation and meditation we we don't have enough mandalas yet no <laughs> there's still more oh this is beautiful i hope you don't think that i'm spending too much time on these but you know for the people who would like to get into camellia angel cova's mandala books i think um you should have a bit of an overview um, which book contains which kind of mandalas. And this is the last one, the 100 Beautiful Mandalas. So this is a really thick book. I mean, how does she even manage to come up with even more designs? These are a lot. <laughs> Beautiful ones. So yeah, that was my mandala crazy buy here. Then next up is The Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Ari. I got the first one and uh, I'll try it like this. Books are really popular for all the right reasons. She has beautiful designs, very cute, a cute style. Wow, so detailed. Look at all these books. They are double-sided so i think i'm going to use either my brute funers or prisma colors in these beautiful scenes really detailed very nice 
Romantic Country, the second tale. Then, of course, I got the new release from Kirby Rosanis, Mythic World. Some people have said that this one is a bit more on the darker side because apparently some designs look a little... Uh, not necessarily creepy, but, well, yeah, maybe a little creepy. <laughs> but uh, I don't mind. I think they're they're really beautiful designs. I mean, this one is pretty cool. There's, like, the three-headed Cerberus and the Gargoyle, like, breaking out of its stone shell. I haven't colored... I mean, I, I started in one of his books with a very light coat of colored pencils, but his images are so detailed and so intimidating. So they are great to own just as a collector's item and look through them and enjoy the beautiful designs. But I really want to tackle one of his images one day. Oh, wow, this looks pretty cool. Yeah. So another Kirby Rosanis book in my collection. I've seen this one colored, I think, already. It looks... Uh, pe people are doing such great things with Kirby Rosanis images, you know beautiful beautiful work and then i was so glad to see this one back available on amazon because when i first saw this i went straight to amazon and thought oh, i must get this it's so beautiful and then it was like out of stock and then i went to two more Am i think i went to amazon uh co uk and amazon.com but both didn't have it i think so i just added it on german amazon to my wish list and thought yeah wow this one i just have to wait oh wow also this one um i mean wow i mean all of them are so beautiful and intricate wow and um i paid 32 euros for this and i don't regret one cent because <laughs> these images are fantastic also single-sided so alcohol markers yay oh wow look at that one Oh my, look at that one. <laughs> look at all of them. So beautiful. Oh wow. Yeah, Fantasia. I'm going to treat this with a lot of respect, which means I'm not going to color in it for a while until I have a better coloring technique. Uh, but yeah, next up, oh now comes the cute stuff. It's Mermaid Chibi Girls. I'm actually not a chibi enthusiast. I don't think I have any chibi coloring books uh, prior to getting, um, I think it's two. Uh, these two ones but I really really liked this style here I think they kind of stood out to me because they have a very cute style I also like the line work and just the scenes in general so yeah I got the chibi coloring book look at me <laughs> really cute really cute mermaid chibi girls um does it say who the artist is by the way I don't think I have said a lot of artist names. Hmm. No. Or I'm just too too stupid to find it. But yeah, let's keep it at that. Mermaid Chibi Girls. And then... It must be by the same artist because the style looks the same. Fairies Chibi Girls. If I can figure out the artist name... I think I'm going to look it up on Amazon. It must have the artist name somewhere. I'm going to put a link in the description. Because their work is so cute. Such cute, cute images. So pretty. Fairies, chibi girls. And creepy kawaii horror chibi. So yeah. One of these. I just had to get them. They have such cute, creepy designs. It's a bit different from what I usually color, so, you know, always good to stay, how do you say that? To stay on the move and try new things. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Again, <clears throat> it's Sunday morning. I didn't even have my energy drink yet, so please bear with me. Horror kawaii. Aww. So cute. Ooh, spiders. I don't like spiders, but they even managed to make the spiders look cute. Ooh, a mini Baphomet. And a zombie. Oh, these are so cute. Harakawaii. Then, uh, Cocoa Wayo. Yeah. 
some more Coco Wayo books because I just love this brand so much. I got the Tea Cozy one. And as always, I mean, I don't know what to say anymore about Coco Wayo. It's like every book they, they publish and I publish a lot of books in a very short amount of time is so pretty and, and intricate. It's like they really, they really cracked the code on how to make appealing coloring books. These scenes are so beautiful and it's so well drawn, you know? Wow. Tea cozy. Then, whoop, it's not a pile anymore. <laughs> Sweetie Lands, which is full of candy and sweet stuff. Also, see, I love scenes like that. Am I in focus? I'm in focus. Ooh, I'm fumbling around here. Yeah, if you like cute stuff, if you like sweets and candy, yum yum, I really recommend these books. <laughs> or if you just like a pretty coloring book. Their scenes are always so cute. Yeah, Sweetie Lands. Then really like this one midnight spring which is one of one of their books with black background that is going to make i mean the colors are going to look so vibrant in these books i just have to you know actually use them <laughs> in it i mean i did start the fairylands coco wayo book so at least i'm making some progress beautiful midnight spring then i think this is the last coco wayo one mandala's spell yes yes you're right i didn't had enough mandala books yet so what's uh particular about this one is the lines oh wow that looks really cool um the lines are actually in some cases pretty thin and i'm a little concerned about using alcohol markers because they probably I actually really like those ones with the black background. Wow. Um, and the, the alcohol markers will probably bleed over the lines. I mean, I hope you can see the designs. I hope my, my mobile phone uh, focuses. So I have been thinking when I flip through this, I might use... Oh, wow. Wow. I might use um, a black fine liner and go over at least some of the lines so that the image won't look like every color bled into each other. But yeah, this is a beautiful book, Mandela's Spell. And then, <laughs> because I love animals and I love baby animals, I got all four of the Coloring Book Cafe Baby Animals books. Do I have them in order? Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Yeah, so let's just flip through these real quick here. And oh my god, these these are so cute. Oh, the owls. I love owls. Owls are one of my favorite animals. Also, foxes, so cute. And the bunnies. And the others? No, are, are those otters? I don't know my animals. Are these otters and these beavers? Yeah, oh yeah, right, look at the tail. These are beavers. Oh, so cute. Oh, baby bears. Oh. So cute. Sorry. <clears throat> Stay mature here. Yeah. Okay. Baby Animals Volume 1. Baby Animals Volume 2. This is... Do they have a theme? Is I think this is like farm animals. Is it? So cute. Lovely, lovely, cute little images. This one, the ocean baby animals. I mean, I'm going to be honest here. Not all of them look specifically like babies. Like, they just have big eyes sometimes, but still very cute. Even though I am not a particular fan of underwater scenes, I think it's a good... It's a good way to just mix up what you're coloring because otherwise I would only be coloring 
ocean baby animals, I would only be coloring like uh, forest scenes. And those is the, the this is the jungle baby animals. So they they do have a theme. Oh, look at that one. Oh, baby koala, so cute. Oh, this is really cute as well. The baby giraffe and baby elephant. Oh my god, they're all cute. Oh, I will never, I will never get to color all of these. Oh my god, look at this one. It's so pretty. Okay. Um, jungle baby animals. And then owls coloring book. As I just said, oh yeah, by Marjorie Sarnet. I hope I pronounced that right. Probably not. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. And these are these really like intricate Santangly images of owls and as i said owls are among my favorite animals i just had to get this one it's so cute so pretty full of owls and then i also got myself the one book by Teresa goodrich that was available on german amazon which is the country kitchen charm and i've seen her books in a couple of videos and she has focus focus yeah it is focus and she has really beautiful, intricate scenes. And I really like the variety of her line work, like the, the variation of line thickness. It really adds to the beautiful visuals of, their, of her images. Also single-sided, so alcohol mark is yay. Oh, this is very pretty. I mean, they're all beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful stuff. Country Kitchen Charm. Then, ah, I was so looking forward to these ones. I've gotten four new Hachette books. This one is the best here, which has been newly released. The Girl Power is going to be released on the 18th of May. So, not too long. Oh, actually, in 10 days. So, I'm just going to show you the solutions real quick. So, the best here, wait, let me show it like this. The best here has all the animal characters and it comes with sometimes quite a large color palette. The beautiful thing is that um, all of the images have black outlines and I know a lot of people really like the images better with black outlines. I don't really have a preference here. I just enjoy their images. I love these ones. <laughs> Very pretty. Also, this one is very cute. Zootopia. I actually like that they made the effort and uh, took the, the animated 3D images and gave them black lines. Because that is... Uh, I mean, of course, it must be more work than just uh, taking the image as it is and make it without the lines. So I appreciate that. I, re I like that. Oh, this is so cute. I like that they really mix up the style of their books. So in each book you have a bit of a different style to color, sometimes with black outlines, sometimes without, sometimes very intricate, sometimes a bit not so much. <laughs> so yeah, this was the best here. Coloriage mist here. Then I got the Nature... Nature Sauvage, again French, sorry. Um, and this one has some very interesting images. Also, some of them are very detailed, like this one. Also, they, did, they didn't show the color palette here in the solutions, but that's okay. But this one is quite detailed and this is very simple. So they have a bit of everything for everyone. This is so beautiful. Also this one. Can you see it? I'm going to put it more here. Again, there are some, some like a bit funny looking images like this. And then I don't know what they thought with that one. They didn't put any effort in this one. This, no. <laughs> I don't like this one. But the rest is, is okay. Also, this is a little strange. But look, images like this one or this one, it's just worth getting these books for. I mean, you have a hundred images and you can't like each and every image. And usually also this one. And usually you, you feel like they did put a lot of effort into these images. 
And I mean, just because an image is simple doesn't mean that it's not worth coloring. Don't get me wrong there. I mean, I'm glad there are simple images, so I can I can uh, rack up more finished pages at the end of the month by doing a few simple ones. And this one, <laughs> I don't know why they put a dragon here, because dragons are mythological creatures, but okay. Also, this looks like Haku from, from Spirited Away. So, interesting. Also, I really like this one. This one is very pretty as well. And this one is so cute, the sleeping fox. So yeah, this is a bit of a strange one again. Oh, but this is beautiful, and this one as well. Oh, look at that one, that's so pretty. This is very intricate. And this one, and this one. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love the images in this Oh, this is the, the cover image, beautiful. Also this one. Oh damn, there are too many beautiful images. Yeah, the Nature Sauvage. And then, actually I got two more. These ones, I actually only got these for completionist reasons, because <laughs> even more mandalas. Um, I was actually reluctant to get these ones, because at least this one here, the mandala one, has one review on German Amazon. Or maybe not German Amazon, it was just shown on German Amazon, that uh, kind of criticized the book for having mistakes, like some fields not having a number attached, and you kind of have to figure out yourself and look at the solutions. What, uh, let me put it here, um, what color goes into which field. Um, but that is actually something that I have noticed with all of their books. I mean, it's not like a big deal, but sooner or later you will come across an image where numbers are missing sometimes it's just one or two numbers per image so it's really again not a big deal wouldn't be a reason for me to give a bad review because when you put out images in in the frequency that Hachette does then there are bound to be some mistakes you know and i mean you can just look up the solutions and, and figure out from there what color gets into a field in case it's missing so yeah all in all i do like i do like the colorful images in here so whenever i feel like oh this is nice whenever i feel like working on mandalas with acrylic paint i'm gonna take this one the mandalas coloriage mystere and then there was also this one mandalas et rangula Rangoli, mm -hmm. French. I'm sorry, French people. It's been such a long time since I had French at school, and I was never very good at it. It's a beautiful language, but I, it, it didn't come easy to me. I, I had much less trouble with learning English, which doesn't mean that my English is a lot better. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, let's let's get to the book. Um, very interesting images here. Um, I assume it's mandalas and patterns maybe maybe rangoli or the rang rangola means patterns i'm not sure i actually didn't look it up but there are some very nice images in here very colorful also without any black lines so you can go in there straight with well actually only if you color with acrylic paint like me you can go uh, straight in there with your paints and not not uh, be careful to not draw over what is supposed to be a black line because I actually always do the black lines last. Most people who color uh, in in the Disney coloriage mystery books I notice um, do the black outlines first to get an idea of the actual image, which makes sense. But when you work with acrylic paints, at least that's how I feel about it. It doesn't look that good when you do the black lines first and then you you know you're bound to go over the lines sometimes in some cases. And I think the image looks better when you do the black lines last. So, yeah. I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> I can't explain it any better, but yeah. There are really some nice, colorful images in here. So, yeah. This one. Mandala e Rangoli. Let's, let's just, yeah, let's just keep it at that. <laughs> then I have gotten more Disney books that are a little simpler, actually. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm sorry, <clears throat> uh, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to work with acrylic paint in these ones as well. But as you can see, the images are more simple. They don't have shading. So 
unfortunately they are double sided so you cannot work in them with acryl, uh, acryl. alcohol markers without getting a bleed through and destroying the image on the other side that's not how i want to work so just to give you a bit of a view of how they look like they also added like the eyes and and mouths in some cases so yeah this is the coloriage magique mystère a mixture of all of their movies then i've got this one the one specifically for encanto i think i liked encanto i don't think it's one of their best movies but i really like the character design i think the characters just look lovely and colorful and so i decided to get the coloring book of encanto really like that one and then oh yeah this one is for the lion king i think i already tried one in here did i no i did try which one did i try oh yeah and that one all right so this one is a optical illusions one specifically for the lion king which means you are shown uh this image but when you color it it actually turns out to be something else the unfortunate thing is when you use a, a medium that is not opaque sorry about my voice <coughs> sorry and when you use a medium that is not opaque you will actually see these thick lines through the actual image so i would probably either use acrylic paint or at least acrylic paint markers in these ones i love the lion king i think the lion king is my favorite disney movie i mean they have so many great movies but if i have to to limit myself to one favorite i think i would pick the lion king maybe due to nostalgic reasons because it was i think it was the very first um Disney film I saw. This is the Coloriage Magique Mystère and this one has very thick lines. I'm going to show you the solutions here and then I'm going to show you how I started working in it. So yeah, these are the images and I started with acrylic paint pens because I thought maybe that would be a quicker way but as you can see the lines still show through, even though I used, I think, at least two layers of paint. Um, so I might even go ahead and use acrylic paint in this one to, you know, just improve the, the final result of the image. And then... Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Wow. I got these two. Master Pixels. <sighs> <laughs> why there are 120 images in there i will never be able to finish them all but yeah i just i just really uh liked the images that i saw i found them nice and colorful and even though i don't like all the pixelated uh color by number books i like this one and i mean just the sheer amount of of pages appealed to me you know i wanted to have like a really thick coloring book a thick boy <laughs> and uh yeah this one is for the incredible sea life themed images and then here is one for the amazing wildlife theme oh wait actually i'm oh what i wanted to say about this one is uh unfortunately but it would probably it would have been even thicker as you can see the the pages are double-sided so what i did is i started working in it with water-based markers and i hate the streaking <laughs> so i might i mean i'm going to finish this one um so it looks consistent with water-based markers but i think i might start working in these with actual colored pencils because at least the colored pencils aren't streaky um for them to to look really really opaque though i have to press really hard and i'm a little concerned i mean the paper is not super thin but i'm a little concerned on how that's going to you know press through to the other side but we'll see we'll see so yeah let's get to this one the amazing wildlife one so here are the solutions you can just pause the video if you want to take a closer look of any one of those images. But yeah, I think they're really colorful. 
course, I love the tiger and the fox and the lynx. <laughs> I just love cats. I love big cats. So, yeah, 120 images of wildlife animals. Yeah. <laughs> and here is the color by numbers by the sea. I think this is a newer one. And it looks like that. It looks quite intricate. Looking forward to this one. I do like that they have line variation. It gives uh, the image a bit more depth, I think. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Then I've gotten the stained glass books. I, I'm not sure. I think there are probably even more of those. But I got the stained glass Egyptian designs. Where does it start? Here. So yeah, some, for some quick and easy mindless coloring while I am either listening to an audiobook or watch a YouTube video or watch one of my favorite shows or movies. These ones are perfect for that. Then the stained glass Tiffany windows. Very cute designs. Very nice. Then, because I like cacti and succulents, the cactus and succulent coloring book. This one is mosaic. Oh, it actually has Harry Potter. Really? Okay. Oh, wait, that's bonus images. All right, I'm sorry. So these are mosaic styled images. So similar to that one dragon coloring book I have in that style, I will be coloring the lines black. I actually didn't look up whether there is a black background version already, but I don't mind, you know. It doesn't take up that much time to color the lines black. So, yeah. And, guys, we finally made it. Under 40 minutes, yay. It's the City Sites Color by Number by George Tufaxis. I love George Tufaxis' books. I'm going to show you. Oh, wait, actually, the solutions are here. They're pretty small, but as you can see, these are very colorful and often very detailed images. I love George Tufaxis' books. I can't get all of them through my German Amazon account, but I'm trying to get as many as I can. And this one got available, so I got it. So yeah, I think that was almost 50 books. Oh my god. But I'm really glad because... I am one step closer to owning all the coloring books I like. I don't think that my next hauls are going to be that big because I was able to get a lot of the books off my Amazon wish list. I just hope that, <laughs> that new releases won't come up so fast that I, you know, am I'm going to be stuck in the same place and always buy like 50 coloring books each month. I'm looking at you, Coco Wyo. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm I'm really looking forward to start working in these books, which let's be honest, is not going to happen for a while. <laughs> Because uh, I started coloring in November, as I have said several times now, and I have finished one, one single coloring book. So yeah, I, I better get get started right now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you saw a few books that you would like to get yourself. Maybe I could inspire you a little there. And uh, I wish you a great day. Enjoy your weekend and maybe see you in the next one. Bye.